Thank you for checking out Lakehead International's videos. You're about to watch one of our Lakehead International live webinars, a fun and informative way to learn more about Lakehead while also meeting faculty, staff, and current students. If you have any questions throughout today's video, please comment below. Otherwise, let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome to another Lakehead International Live. My name is Jordan Ball, I'll be your host today. And I'm really excited to be sharing more about how to get involved in student life here at Lakehead University so that you can better prepare and get excited for your journey to our campuses, hopefully either this upcoming spring, this fall, or perhaps even beyond then in the future. Uh, once again, my name is Jordan Ball. I'm the International New and Social Media Officer. I help run all of our live events, our digital experiences, our social media channels, as well as our Global Ambassador Program here on the Thunder Bay campus. So to kick things off, um, first and foremost, I want to chat more about orientation and first year experience. So this is something that I think is very important, especially for students that are joining um, Lakehead University from around the world. Orientation is your introduction and official welcome to Lakehead and our communities of Thunder Bay and Aurelia. Um, so you'll have the opportunity to jump in and get prepared. You'll be able to connect with your peers and have any of your questions answered and, of course, begin your adventure on the right foot. Um, to help incoming international students transition to life here in Canada, but also at Lakehead University, our team of international advisors have built a variety of online free arrival modules that will also help you prepare for the exciting journey ahead. Um, and upon arriving, you will also have the opportunity to participate in Lakehead International's new international student orientation, as well as our campus-wide orientation. So this photo here on the screen is actually a part of the campus-wide orientation. This is what we like to call um, a varsity madness. And then we have the whiteout. Uh, so this is a really great opportunity for students to meet their varsity teams here on campus. Um, they get to really showcase their Thunderwolf spirit by cheering on their athletic teams, but also they get to, you know, relish in the um, camaraderie of the crowd and the excitement that's built in Lakehead's Thunderdome. So this is on the Thunder Bay campus and then on the Aurelia campus. Um, we have uh, similar events in terms of celebrating um, our athletic teams, but also introducing them and, and introducing the broader Lakehead community to you. Campus-wide orientation typically occurs at the end of August and early September each year. And so with that being said, I want to remind viewers, if you are considering um, booking your flight sooner than later, or if you're already looking and planning ahead, um, I believe our orientation dates, especially international orientation, which is going to kick everything off for you, um, should be published on our website and should be accessible now. And so that may influence you in terms of when you're going to arrive here in Thunder Bay or Aurelia. Chatting a bit more about your pre-arrival, um, I think it's a great opportunity to chat more about our peer mentor program. So Lakehead International's peer mentor program actually pairs up experienced Lakehead students with a small group of new international students to help them transition to university, adjust to the university campus and their new community, as well as Canadian culture, um, but also provide them with access and they get to know on off of on campus and off campus resources. So the peer mentor program really organizes activities for all participants. It's a great way to meet new students, but also explore your new hometown. Your peer mentor will be one of the first faces you meet and will continue to support you until the end of your first term here on campus. One month before your academic studies uh, begin, your peer mentor will be involved in your orientation experience and offer information, guidance, and resources to smooth that transition to university. We recognize, of course, it's a big leap and a big change for many of you uh, coming to Lakehead, moving to Canada, and having that experienced peer mentor um, be able to guide you throughout the process and help you be a go-to resource for yourself as you may have questions come up in your first semester and beyond, um, I think is very important. Your peer mentor is also on hand to help you with making new friends and building a new community here in Thunder Bay, Aurelia, uh, as well as improving your study skills, developing time management, motivation, exam prep, academic achievements, 
Um, they'll also, like I said, provide useful resources um, or support services whenever they feel the need to, or um, if you face a challenge and want to learn more and grow from that opportunity, um, they'll be able to address that as well. And last but not least, like I mentioned before, you're going to have an opportunity to um, participate in a wide variety of uh, events and activities that are organized both by the peer mentor program, but they'll also do a great job at sharing upcoming events and opportunities uh, on the broader campus. So this is a great way to really dive into everything Lakehead to kick things off. Once you actually arrive on campus, I'm sure you're curious, how can you get involved beyond just orientation and beyond the peer mentor program? And this is a great segue into my discussion related to student government or the Lakehead University Student Union. So LUSU actually gives you the chance to become an involved in both academic, political, and social affairs. Whether you have the dream of becoming the next LUSU president or perhaps part of the executive team, or even as a part of the university senate as a student representative, there's many ways to play a bigger role within student government. Um, this is one of the many ways to also add to your CV or your resume, especially for those that may have aspirations to perhaps pursue a political career or pursue a career that would be greatly benefited uh, from having background knowledge in politics, essentially. Um, so some of the opportunities include becoming a student representative, um, representing all students here on campus at Lakehead University's Senate, their judicial panel, their Senate standing committees. Um, for those of you who don't know, Senate is actually a group of the decision makers who govern the educational policy at Lakehead University. So being on Senate means that you will have an opportunity to vote on changes to the course calendar, educational policies, honorary degree candidates, and more, which is really exciting. You also may have the opportunity or aspirations to become a student governor within LUSU's uh, a very important role of student government. So they are actually responsible for building and understanding and the perspective amongst all of their other governors. So if you are a part of the board of governors within LUSU, um, but then you are the student governor on um, the, the necessary committees within the university, you'll have the opportunity to then represent the governor's voice. And then they will actually work closely with the elected officials within LUSU, but also work closely with the Board of Governors here at Lakehead University to bring forward our thoughts for consideration. So the Board of Governors, for those of you who don't know, they're responsible for the fiscal management of Lakehead University, as well as the appointment and evaluation of the president of Lakehead University. So they exercise governance, oversight, and public accountability duties through leadership and delegation in strategic planning, uh, financial stewardship, ethical integrity, risk management, and that's all tied into the university's objectives, purposes, assets, and affairs. So this is one of the many ways to get involved. Um, like I noted, Board of Governors um, is the top governing body of LUSU, and you'll also oversee the union's activities and set the strategic direction. I also mentioned uh, that if you had the dreams of one day becoming an executive member and sitting on the executive committee, one day you could pursue a position such as the president or the vice president of operations and finance, vice president of advocacy, or vice president of Aurelia. This committee actually manages the day-to-day -day operations of LUSU as a corporation. Um, on top of this, LUSU also runs a number of centers that work together to make the world a better place, essentially. Um, they provide opportunities to get involved, but also participate in activities um, through one of the many centers and, and engage in volunteerism, which I'll chat about in a moment here. But another thing that LUSU does is student clubs, and they do it so well. So no matter what you're looking for, whether it's a club um, that is more suited towards the academics focused or perhaps the cultural focused or sports and recreation, there's probably a club that exists that suits your interests. Clubs here um, have the benefit for all students, of course. So just about anyone can join a club. It's the best way to get involved and choose your own way to experience student life. And as a member of LUSU, so as a student here at Lakehead University, you can join just about any club or participate in just about any club event. 
you're also able to um, potentially start one of your own clubs or hold a leadership position within one of the clubs that already exists. Um, being a part of a club that is officially recognized by LUSU gives you the access to sports and resources and campus spaces for free or at a reduced rate. So you can see, as I've listed, the themes and where clubs sort of are categorized. In terms of academics, um, we have clubs related to the Black Students Association of Lakehead University. We have Enactus Lakehead. We have the English Students Association, Lakehead University Accounting Club, Lakehead University Pre-Med Society, um, Natural Resources Student Society, Neuroscience Research Interest Group, to name a few. If you're more focused in on the arts and the entertainment, uh, we are looking at Lakehead University Anime and Magna University PC Gaming Society. If you want to build more community ties, we have the Lakehead University Community Outreach Association, Lakehead University F Food Security Club, or Lakehead University Road Rack Club, the Shelter House Volunteering Group. In terms of culture, some of the, uh, the biggest ones on campus are the Lakehead University Indian Student Association or the African Caribbean Student Association. If you would like to uh, participate in clubs that are focused more on religious uh, or religion, we have the Deeper Life Campus Fellowship and Lakehead Catholic Club, Lakehead University Christian Fellowship, Lakehead University Muslim Student Association. Um, politics, we also have clubs related to that and sports and recreation, to name a few. We have the Great Lakes Surfing Club, the Lakehead University Canoe and Kayak Club, the Climbing Club, the Martial Arts University Dance Team. Um, there's so many clubs here on campus with over 50 clubs to participate in. We are very excited to have students um, participating in them. And last but not least, we also have student societies. So student societies are, are built around students that are pursuing the same program or perhaps the same discipline. So to name a few, we have the Lakehead University Nursing Association, LUNA for short, or the Lakehead University Engineering Student Society, ESS, Lakehead University Psych-Hi chapter, which is related to psychology. So these are just a few of the societies that we have on campus that will also help you build connections with peers that are like-minded perhaps, or uh, explore some of your own passions and interests. Um, to share more about some of those clubs, this is actually an example of how do you get involved? What, what, in, what is entailed in being in those clubs? So this is the Engineering Student Society, ESS, um, in their annual bus pull event. So this is a fundraiser where they actually raise money for a local charity here in Thunder Bay. And they have teams that attempt to pull a big yellow school bus. So um, this is a really great and fun event um, for engineering students, but also for just about anyone on campus to come out and participate and, and give it their all to try and pull that bus. So this is one of the ways that you may be able to get involved, perhaps. Of course, this is um, very niche and, and unique to Lakehead here. And so that's why I always like to talk about it. But some of the other events and typically the most popular events within our student clubs are social events. And so when you look at Louisa, for example, the Lakehead University Indian Student Association, um, they are consistently hosting um, Diwali nights, Bollywood nights, celebrations related to holidays that you would you would have big celebrations back home in India or perhaps elsewhere with your family. Um, they do a great job at uh, representing their home country and culture for students that uh, reign from that region or, or participate in that celebration. However, with that being said, um, they welcome just about anyone on campus to join and participate in those exciting events and opportunities. So in terms of chatting more about clubs, I know I'm excited about clubs. I always like to share more, but I, I also think it's important to showcase what our students think of clubs. And so this is Bright, who is a student from Nigeria. And we asked her um, to reflect on her experience in clubs and, and share more about why they are so important to her. So in, in sitting down with her, she shared more in saying that um, celebrating my culture through the African Caribbean Student Association, uh, 
part of me celebrating my culture with the African Caribbean Student Association or AFCASA for short brings me closer to home. Um, I know that there are other people like me and we can go through similar experiences together as a family. Um, she also reflected on one of her fo most fond memories uh, with AFCASA to date, um, and that was celebrating Black History Month. Um, but also she said that she could not forget the night that as a group they went out to the Black Panther movie um, and she just absolutely loved that experience and so clubs to her are a lovely way to m meet new people and share moments and experiences and she also reminds us that Afkasa has never had dull moments and so she has essentially found a little piece of home here in Canada. Shifting gears here and chatting a bit more about volunteering, um, as I noted, LUSU or Lakehead University Student Union has several different centers that support initiatives of important change here on campus, but also provide volunteer experience and opportunities to our students. So I won't read the list verbatim, but I'll share more about what each of these centers actually does. So the uh, Aboriginal Awareness Centre provides peer support and opportunities for students um, to get involved with Aboriginal teaching, ceremonies and traditions, as well as education and advocacy on the issues facing Indigenous students here at Lakehead University. We also offer food support. Um, so the Food Resource Centre or the Food Resource Collective, uh, there's one on either campus, um, is where we are proud to provide food resources and support all of Lakehead students who find themselves in need. Of course, Lusu shares that they believe in reducing the economic barriers that many uh, that may prevent some of the most vulnerable members of our uh, community um, from pursuing those academic excellence. Our Gender Equity Center uh, is where they initiate and support positive feminist and womanist actions concerning gender, socioeconomic status, ethnicity, religion, culture, family life, sexual orientation, gender identity, and difference in physical or mental abilities. The Multicultural Center it, it provides an, a welcoming and inclusive space where students can learn and discuss issues such as cultural identity, racism, and international development concerns. The MCC also runs events and campaigns that acknowledge and celebrate cultural diversity here at Lakehead and around the world. And last but not least, least we have Pride Central, which provides a safe space for LGBTQIA members and students of our community. It's also open to all Lakehead University students and community members with a focus on ending discrimination on the basis of sexual orientation or gender identity. So several of these centers have volunteer positions, as I noted, whether it's a coordinator role, which is actually a paid position, or if it's volunteering your time to help organize events, support some of their campaigns, uh, support some of their initiatives. These are great ways to get involved. And, and another way to volunteer, but also build on your leadership skills and also uh, expand within career development and prepare for the future, essentially. As a student at Lakehead University, there are so many opportunities to get involved uh, and contribute uh, to the campus community by volunteering through different activities and events. Uh, we also encourage you to take advantage of these opportunities and build your leadership skills, uh, which we also recognize through our co-curricular record, which is a formal record for any of those volunteer experiences. So one of the programs I always like to chat about is the Level Up Leadership Program. So you have the opportunity to take part in the new Level Up Leadership Program, which aims to provide students with the opportunity to connect with their peers, the communities around them, but also develop strong leadership skills and qualities. The Level Up Leadership Program has been developed uh, with you, the student in mind, of course. So through student surveys, as well as having student leaders take part in forming the goals and the vision of the Level Up Leadership Program, um, they're quite confident, they being the Student Success Center, um, is confident that this is something that the Lakehead University community has asked for. The Level Up Leadership Program um, has a strong hand in the orientation activities hosted on campus, 
and that first year experience and making sure that uh, as senior students, they are giving back and welcoming the new cohort of Lake University graduates. And the peer mentor program, as I know, I mentioned that at the beginning of our slide deck today, um, but the peer mentor program, as you uh, join Lakehead and become a more senior and a more seasoned experience, uh, will actually allow you to create connections between the peer mentors and the peer mentees with a set of guidelines, of course. So peer mentors have the responsibility to provide academic guidance and social support for all of the new students, including transfer and exchange students, um, according to their academic level. So we organize it through undergrad or graduate. Peer mentors are, as I mentioned, seasoned and upper year students at Lake at University who are true campus experts. They'll also be the first point of contact and, and connection for mentees, and they should be able to answer a variety of questions and or refer the mentees to the proper resources on campus to help them enhance their study skills and their university experience. And we also have the Lakehead Makes Leaders program. Lakehead Makes Leaders is an innovative career readiness program offered by Lakehead International um, to help you develop critical soft skills within your own job search. So we've built this program to address the soft skills gap in Canada's post-secondary graduates. Um, and these skills are necessary to access career-related employment and which are also critical for your success in the workplace. Another leadership and career development opportunity is the Global Ambassador Program, which, as you may recall, I mentioned at the beginning of our webinar, I have the pleasure of running. So the Global Ambassador Program is essentially the ultimate opportunity for current students to express their proud voice in the spirit of Lakehead University to future students and alumni globally. As a global ambassador, um, you would participate in activities like representing and connecting with future students in your home country through digital channels. You may participate in marketing campaigns and be featured in photo shoots or testimonials. You could attend and support on-campus events, volunteering for community organizations and giving our time back to the community, engaging and encouraging students to participate in activities and events, and perhaps uh, supporting the planning and development of digital media here at Lake University. So that wraps up our leadership development and our career development opportunities. And as we segue and transition into the next opportunity, um, oops, pardon me. I do want to take an opportunity here to open the Q&A and check that out. So I know that Martin behind the scenes has been answering several questions throughout today's session. Um, I'm just going to see if there's any um, questions that are related to today's topic. So this one says, hello, is there any clubs website to see the full list of clubs? So yes, if you visit LUSU, so L-U-S-U dot C-A, um, you'll actually be able to see the full directory of clubs over there. Um, lots of questions about admissions and applying. So that's great to see that people are uh, still posing questions, but I'll leave that to Martin to help answer. Alrighty. So another great opportunity to get involved and stay connected is joining us here in the International Center on the Thunder Bay campus. Uh, this center is located right in the heart of our Thunder Bay campus. And here you'll find our International Student Services team, our English Language Center, our Global Engagement Team and Study Abroad Office, as well as our International Student Lounge, where you can connect with other students and relax between classes. Um, ISS, International Student Services for short, often hosts student-based events, workshops, and excursions each academic term uh, within this space. So taking a look at some of the photos here, this is actually the International Student Lounge. So you can see we have two large flat screen TVs uh, where we'll often have either Netflix running, maybe it's YouTube playlist of music, perhaps it's um, one of our gaming consoles and students are, are playing the next round of FIFA or a different multiplayer game. We also have pinball and foosball. Um, this is a space that has been designed and, and welcomes the relaxation and unwinding that we often know students are looking for. 
We also host, as I noted, several events. So this was one of our culture days in celebration of um, all of Africa. And so we had students from all sorts of countries within Africa uh, showcase their culture, their religion, their food, and their music through one of our culture days uh, where they had that opportunity to um, introduce new people to their own experiences and how they were perhaps raised. This is another one where our English Language Center being in the same space um, will often host groups from all over the world and oftentimes uh, those groups will have great parties to say the least but also social events where you'll have an opportunity to perhaps learn a dance or two um, and just celebrate in the culture that they bring in that diversity that they bring to our campuses through different enriching education opportunities. We also have workshops so this is uh, where one of our students who was with CSSA, which is this Chinese Scholars and Student Association. Um, he was actually doing calligraphy lessons with a group of students uh, to teach them basic Mandarin calligraphy. Um, he also brought you know, the necessary tools and the paints uh, that are gonna be the easiest to use in this case. Shifting gears once again, as we discuss how to get involved, I noted that Athletics and recreation is a big consideration. So on the Thunder Bay campus um, and on the Aurelia campus, we have on-campus facilities. So uh, we have our full gym facility here in Thunder Bay and we have an on-campus fitness room in Aurelia. Um, but then all students, whether you're on the Thunder Bay or Aurelia campus will access uh, to gymnasiums, aquatic centers or uh, Olympic sized swimming pools, indoor walking and jogging track, on the Thunder Bay campus, you'll have access to an indoor AstroTurf pictured on the screen right now. You'll also have access to weight rooms, cardio rooms, aerobics rooms, outdoor skating rinks, beach volleyball courts. And in Aurelia, you'll have access to drop-in fitness classes and an outdoor skating rink here on campus. So chatting a bit about um, some of those facilities. Uh, this is actually the Wolf Den here in Thunder Bay. So this was constructed in 2021. A brand new 30,000 square foot uh, facility which houses a bright and beautiful gymnasium as well as serves as the new entrance to the athletic center here for our students and members of our community. And we also have um, accessible entrances for the rest of our facilities uh, for campus recreation and clubs as well as our sports offices are all now housed here in the Wolf Den. So this is an exterior shot. Um, this is that full-size gymnasium, and as you can see probably from the variety of paintings on the floor and the lines on the floor, this gym can be used in a very multifaceted approach. So whether your passion is to uh, be there for open court hours and maybe potentially play a bit of basketball, or if you're looking to set up a volleyball net or badminton net, there's a lot of opportunities and, and uh, flexibility within this space. We also have the, the Thunder Zone weight room, which is a brand new space for our students to lift weights. We have the Cardio Loft, which is um, massive and has so many different equipment uh, for our students to utilize uh, for their, for their own um, athletic needs. And then we also have lounge space, which is a really nice space for our students to enjoy um, should they choose to want to come and spend time here to study with their friends or perhaps meet up with their friends before they go and do a group workout or a group fitness class together. Um, this lounge space is really beautiful. Chatting about other things related to athletics and recreation. Um, we have, of course, our varsity club teams and our recreational sports teams. So we have over 20 varsity and clubs teams here on campus. And we have nine recreational sports teams. For those of you who don't know, varsity teams are, are actual competitive teams that compete within their division here in the university or higher education spectrum. So for example, 
our men's ice hockey team on the Thunder Bay campus uh, recently competed in the final round of the competition. Um, they vied for first place and they certainly uh, gave it their best effort. They came up just a bit short, but it was such an exciting opportunity to see our community members here in Thunder Bay pack the Fort William Gardens, the local arena here that we uh, call home for our facilities related to ice hockey um, with over 3,000 attendees at each and every one of our games. Um, it's really exciting to see that also filled with our student section and our alumni section um, where students have the opportunity to cheer on their Thunderbolts. Club teams, um, they also keep, compete competitively, but typically within the university environment. So there's soccer or football um, where you actually are going to be competing with other teams that are other students here on campus. You'll have the ability to form your own club team and perhaps uh, compete in more localized competitions, uh, whether it's here in Thunder Bay or Aurelia and then beyond within our regions. We also have recreational sports teams. Uh, those are going to be more of the fun-based sport teams. So if you have a passion, uh, perhaps um, pursue a sport just out of passion, or if you're looking to just have fun with it, but not, not necessarily compete relatively uh, hard or intensely, recreational sports teams are definitely better suited for you. So the picture on your screen is actually the Lakehead University uh, cricket team. And the cricket team actually competes against the local college here in Thunder Bay. Um, here are some other photos. So in Aurelia, we have an equestrian team. We also have wrestling as one of our sports. And of course, basketball is another popular one. I will encourage you and remind you to follow us on social media. You can find us at Lakehead International on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. You can also take a virtual campus tour. I know I chatted a lot about how to get involved and how to stay connected, enhance your student experience, but you can also take a virtual campus tour at lakehadu.ca forward slash tours and explore our facilities here at Lakehead University. With that being said, it's been a pleasure hosting you and I look forward to hopefully seeing you at our next event. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, I wanna encourage you to comment below or connect with us on social media. We can be found at Lakehead International on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching once again, and hopefully we'll see you at the next live webinar. Bye for now.